welcome back we won't be doing a new lesson today instead we will do a quick recap of lessons 1 2 and 3 that we learned already let us begin with our prayer dear jesus thank you for helping us grow closer to you through the many things we learned and understood from the first three lessons of our textbook jesus help us to continue staying close to you mother mary pray for us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and forever shall be world without end. Amen. Let us start with lesson 1. prophecies are fulfilled can you recall what we learned first in our lesson 1 we saw how the annunciation and birth of jesus were a fulfillment of the old testament prophecies we also saw that the birth of jesus was the event that divided the history of the world into bc and ad then we went through the events of annunciation to mary her response and jesus being conceived in mary's womb by the power of the holy spirit we saw baby jesus born in a manger in bethlehem and also the shepherds and the three wise men who visited and worshiped baby jesus we ended the lesson by praying that we would be able to keep ourselves pure for baby jesus to come and dwell in us and we also made a decision to acknowledge worship and adore jesus as our lord and savior moving on to lesson 2 the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world Do you remember what the first thing we learned here was? Right. About the baptism of Jesus. Jesus receiving the baptism of repentance from John the Baptist and the mystery of the Holy Trinity being revealed at the time of his baptism. When do we celebrate the feast of Epiphany or the feast of Danaha which celebrates the baptism of Jesus? on 6th of january finally in this lesson we reminded ourselves that we are called to spread the light of jesus by being good examples thereby proclaiming jesus to those around us and finally in lesson 3 we saw the temptations that Jesus faced in the wilderness we saw that Jesus was able to overcome them with the word of god that he had treasured in his heart and with the spiritual strength he had developed from the 40 days spent in fasting and praying we learned that these can be our weapons too to help us gain victory over the temptations we face and last but not the least We saw the importance of doing acts of charity, selflessly loving and helping those in need. You must have noticed that we did not go over what we learned in the second part of these lessons, right? Let's do that now. In the first lesson, we covered the first two liturgical seasons. seasons of annunciation and nativity along with the events that we remember during these seasons now what should be our attitude or frame of mind when we are in these seasons first of all we should be filled with gratitude to god for fulfilling his promises for a savior by giving us jesus 
and then we should remember to hold a deep reverence in our hearts for blessed virgin mary and venerate her for she is the mother of jesus and our mother too and finally the christmas season is a season to rejoice rejoice at the birth of jesus our savior now in the second lesson we covered the liturgical season of epiphany or denaha the third liturgical season and in the third lesson we covered the fourth liturgical season the season of lent now going over the mysteries of the rosary that we covered in these three lessons in the first lesson we covered the five joyful mysteries then in the second lesson the first luminous mystery and in the third lesson we covered the five sorrowful mysteries we also saw the institution of the eucharist which is the fifth luminous mystery In the next few minutes we will see the parts of the holy mass that we had covered in the first three lessons along with pictures of those from your kurbana book and we will also listen to these parts as well so that from now on you will recognize them easily when you participate in holy mass നമ്മുടെ കത്താവി സ്വമിശിഖായുടെ കൃപയും പിതാവായതിനെ സ്നേഹവും പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിനെ സഹവാസവും നാം എല്ലാവരോടും കൂടെ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കട്ടെ ഇപ്പോഴും എപ്പോഴും എന്നേക്കും revising lessons 1 2 and 
in the next class we will move on to lesson 4And here I've given you some questions for you to fill in the blanks. It will help you test if you remember the main points that we have covered in these three lessons. There are three activities for this week and for two of those you have some writing work in your notebook. Activity number one, answer the following questions in your notebook. What were the gifts that the three wise men brought for baby Jesus? And what do each of them signify? Question number two, what are the three things that can help us gain victory over the temptations we face. Activity number two. What was the psalm that you were reading every day of this week, which was given as one of the activities for lesson three? Psalm 119. Psalm 119 verses one to 16. Now, you know that the Bible is not just another book, right? It is the Word of God and God speaks to us through the words of the Bible. So even though all of us have been reading the same verses the past week, each one of us might have a different favorite verse. Can you think about what your favorite verse is from this portion? Once you have found that out, write it down in your Catechism Notebook. And don't forget to memorize it and treasure it in your heart as we learned in our lesson. The third activity is to attend Mass on at least one day during this coming week apart from Sunday. I know that some of you might be taking part in Mass every day which is wonderful but if you usually attend Mass only on Sundays during this coming week, try and attend a weekday Mass as well. And since we are all attending online Masses during these days, you can discuss with your parents and plan on a time to attend a Mass on one of the weekdays. With that, we come to the end of today's session. Goodbye and God bless. I look forward to coming back to you next week.